Hi everyone, happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's Erin from DIY Passion, by the way, and I know I'm actually crouching on the floor in my studio right now, so I hope you can hear me and I hope that the shot looks okay. Um, I have my camera kind of set up on a stool. It's propped up right now because what I want to talk to you about today is one of my favorite topics, which is thrift store finds um, and especially furniture flipping. So if you have ever checked out my blog, which you can see at DIYpassion.com, you'll see that I have done a lot of furniture flips. I think I, you know, there was a point when I was doing like one a week. So, um, it's kind of my favorite therapy and when I see a diamond in the rough I honestly can not turn it down so uh, but I get a lot of questions about how to refinish furniture choices kind of what methods I use and even though I blog about it all the time um, I'm always asked those questions so um, I figured I would hop on today and let you know a few tips and tricks and of course show you what's behind me which is my next major project um, so we'll talk about it all in context of this project so let's look at this first I know it's in really rough shape um, and I'd move the camera right now but I'm afraid it's going to probably like fall over so I won't move it but trust me when I say like it's in really rough shape and the price tag and gooey things are still on the top you can see here there's like a big gouge out of it and this is all shiny because that's saran wrap because <laughs> there was a panel there um, no panel there now so I bought it damaged but that means I got it for a really great price and I have a really fun vision for what this piece is going to look like um, Obviously, I'm going to have to do something about replacing the panels. I think that they probably used to look like this really kind of cool Art Deco style. There's another one down here. The one on this side is also damaged. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to replicate that. Um, but I do have some really great ideas about how to modernize this piece. I picked it because of its size and scale. It's humongous. I actually needed to borrow our friend's Ford F-150 to get it home because it wouldn't fit in a minivan and it certainly wouldn't fit in my hatchback. So it's about four feet high by four feet across. It's quite large. Um, these beautiful drawers have this lovely inlay. So the only thing I don't like about it is the color. So I'm actually gonna try to keep the texture here uh, and use sort of a sand and stain method to keep a little bit of that uh, detail because I think it's quite beautiful. Um, like I said, I'm gonna replace the panels. The whole thing is gonna get a sand and a treatment. But the first, first thing I do when I bring something home from the thrift store is I let it sit. Um, and essentially air out for a couple of days. So this has been down here for two days now and all of a sudden I'm noticing that it has a very distinct odor. Sometimes things from thrift stores stink and it takes a couple of days for that smell to really come out. So if you're buying stuff at a thrift store, I would caution you about putting it straight into your living space right away because a couple days might go by and you've disturbed the fibers of it or whatever it may be and all of a sudden there's a smell. So we're out on my covered porch right now so it's okay if it smells. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's starting to smell stinky. So, so today my process is going to be actually cleaning it. It's a gorgeous day here, a little bit humid, but my first trick is to remove all of the pieces that are removable, so drawers, sometimes doors, and air them out in the sun. The sun is one of the best deodorizers out there. It's cosmic, right? And today is a very cosmic day with the eclipse coming in a couple of hours. Um, but I'm planning on using the power of the sun to help de-stink this. Um, but there's also some parts of it that I won't be able to take out. So there's these awesome shelves that are all affixed and I don't want to take them out. So my first line of defense to deal with the stink um, is baking soda. Everybody's got that. And just some household vinegar. And I just keep this in my studio for cleaning things, especially older vintage pieces. You want to make sure you're not using anything too harsh right away um, because these two things combined might be enough to get the stink out. Um, and if you're looking for exactly what products I use, I'm going to link my... Um, I'm going to link my post into the status here and it's just got a list of all my favorite cleaning products for furniture. Uh, so you can check that out after the fact. 
Um, my legs fell asleep, so I had to sit down. Sorry if I'm a little cut off. Um, okay, so, but what I do with this is I don't sprinkle it in there. What I'll do is while it's airing out in the sun, I'll put a few small little ramekin bowls of deodorizing Arm & Hammer baking soda, and I'll just strategically place them in the drawers, in the cabinets, and I'll leave them there. Because it's kind of like kitty litter. It absorbs the smell. Speaking of kitty litter, if it's like, you know, stink level five or above, you can actually do the same trick with kitty litter or silica gel. Just pour a little bit into a bowl and let it sit in the stinky cabinet for a little bit and it'll absorb some of that must and some of that moisture and some of those yuckers that make it stink. And then you're gonna wipe it down with just some nice vinegar solution. Okay, but let's say that that doesn't work because every once in a while that doesn't work and your piece still smells. You've left it in the sun, you've done your baking soda and vinegar, and it still doesn't work. There is um, a chance that there is some mold in your piece, depending on where it was stored before. You never really know if you got it from a barn or something like that. So I actually like to use, I test it first because it's quite harsh. Make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area, but this. Um, this is a chemical mold killer. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're wearing a mask and you've got the windows open. Don't spray directly on your piece. You're better off wetting a rag, spraying the rag, and then using that. Um, combine that with your baking soda and your sunlight. In all likelihood, that will kill the smell. It may take a little longer. Um, and just for a nice clean scent, anytime I'm wiping something down, like after the vinegar or after the mold killer, I really like using Mrs. Myers because this stuff smells like almost edible. So this would be your last line of defense. Now every once in a while you're going to get a piece that is going to stink no matter what you do. So in that case, your only option after you've tired, used all the other ones is to cover up the smell. So that would be buying an oil-based shellac or an oil-based primer um, and sealing that puppy as best as you can. So, and, and so it's often if it's that bad, it's not usually worth it. So those are my best tips. That's what I'm gonna be doing with this piece today is getting, taking it all apart, cleaning it up, leaving it out in the sun to de-stink uh, de my piece. And then my next thing will be priming it up and trying to figure out how to how to save this beautiful inlay. Um, filling some of this with wood putty um, and then making a decision on what I'm gonna do about these panels. So I plan on doing a whole video series completely devoted to this lovely, I think it's actually a buffet. I've been calling it a linen chest, but it's a buffet. Um, because I think it's a great opportunity to really share with you guys my whole process from selecting the piece to cleaning the piece, prepping the piece, finishing it up, and then styling it. So that is the plan for the rest of the day. And I hope that this has been helpful for you. If you have any other tips and tricks about cleaning, certainly leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm always a game to try something new and to see if things work. And of course, I will link to the post that has all of the details about how to clean thrift store furniture and stuff um, in the description for this video once I'm finished. And stay tuned because this lady is going to be on the blog a lot over the <laughs> next month or so. All right, that's it for me, Erin from DIY Passion. Of course, uh, if you like this, like the video, share the video, leave me a comment. I love to see what you guys are up to and what you think. And if there's something else you want me to tackle, let me know. And uh, enjoy the eclipse this afternoon. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.